Have you ever been gaming on a mouse pad and it just feels like garbage? You know, it snags a little bit, like it's getting old, or it's just, it's too smooth and you push your mouse and it goes all the way over. I mean, that's not usually much of a problem because you want no friction, but you want to upgrade. But what do you get? Well, KY Jelly. <laughs> the Sky Pad, it's professional gaming gear. So this is a tempered glass mouse pad. I haven't used glass before, but I have used a lot of just like hard countertops as well as like metal. Also textbooks. Yeah, textbooks, you know, if you're really poor, you can just use a textbook because that's what you spent all your money on. Oh, so send us a whole bunch. Uh, this is the XL on the bottom. And these are the regular guys. They come in a lot of colors, which is pretty cool. They come in black, white, green, red, and blue. So they claim that it's like incredibly accurate and it's super smooth, so there's like zero friction. They actually sell extra mouse feet, so you gotta get the Teflon foot pads and pop those on them. Really feel the glide. They've also got another product on their page, the gaming arm sleeve, that I, I'm like, that's what I'm set on. Cause honestly, I'll, you know, not gonna lie, there's been times, especially in the summer, where you're gaming like all day, and then your arm starts to hurt. <laughs> It shouldn't, and that should be a sign that you should maybe stop playing games, but it just chafes a little bit from the material. It wouldn't fit on those guns. Yeah, it wouldn't fit on, wouldn't fit on these guns. No, I'm, I'm getting fat. My t-shirts are starting to get a little tight on me. No, no, I'll just game more. That'll solve the problem. That's how I lose weight, I just game more. These are supposed to be super thin as well. They're really low profile. Yeah, that's glass, all right. It's tempered glass. I won't drop it because it'll probably break. I don't know if it's these guys or the new XL one, but the feet are supposed to be like 0.5 millimeter and then it's supposed to be 3.2 millimeter for the rest of the pad. So it should sit about 3.7 millimeters above your desk, which isn't too bad, especially like, cause like our mouse pad is probably pretty close. So it's basically just a little bit higher than the stitched edge of our own mat. Yeah, that feels okay. Like if I were to just hold my hand here without a wrist rest, but see, that's the thing. It's like, what if I was wearing... Yeah, I kind of want the gaming sleeve already. It doesn't slide all that much, but the problem is we don't have one with proper Teflon feet. We do have a G303. This is actually the shroud mouse as well. Um, I mean, that really just changes the shape of it a little bit because it's molded for shroud or whatever. But like, I don't know, it slides okay. Like this doesn't seem, I don't know. I've tried, so I've tried hard mouse pads in the past and there's something that's not the same as a cloth pad. And I, part of it's the silence. Like, you can hear this. That is so much quieter. It's still audible, but like, oh, I wish we had the Teflon feet. So that one, the 2.0 XL, yeah. is on Amazon for 97 US dollars. On, like, honestly, considering how much a proper cloth desk pad can cost you. And the fact that this is like a hard material, like it's super stain resistant, super spill resistant. Uh, you're not gonna ruin it unless you drop it on like tile or ceramic or concrete or something. Even if you drop this on wood, like I could probably drop this on laminate and it'd probably be okay. I'm not going to, because in case it's not, but you, pro you can get away with a few things. Um, so just for a quick size comparison, this is a small one, this is the 2XL and they should have, yeah. So the small guys are, 300 by 350 millimeters or 30 by 35 centimeters. And then the big guy though is 370 by 450 or 37 by 45 centimeters, which is pretty big. Like this is even the small one, this like that's big enough to be a mouse pad. I really hate when you get those super tiny ones that are like this size that barely cover anything and you've got to keep your DPI super high so that you can just do quick crisp movements and stuff. God, I hate even moving around this because you're going to hear it. So now the question is, these are like what, 30, 40 bucks for a mess pad? How much do we charge for the desk pads? Yeah, we, we charge 30 US dollars for the desk pads, every size, which is crazy, but Linus likes giving away super huge mouse pads at $30. This is a hundred bucks for the big one. You have to buy the feet too? I think it's separate, yeah. Oh, for the mouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to spend 30 bucks just for the mouse pad. And then if you really want it to be as good as it's supposed to be, uh, you've then got to pay 20 or 30 bucks? No, it's 850. 850. For a set of two. You got to pay an extra 850 for a set of two uh, feet. I think your feet will wear up fast on glass. Think so? I'm honestly not sure. 
if you're interested in that and you want to see like how quickly mouse feet actually degrade, then get subscribed to LTT and check out our upcoming labs content because we're going to have a lot of testing on stuff like that. Stuff that takes hours and hours and hours and hours to actually people test properly. People vastly smarter. <laughs> yeah, and people vastly smarter than us operating all of those tests to make sure it's all above board. Yeah, I don't know. It feels okay. I still think I prefer cloth. Like if I had to choose right now, I would take the cloth mat over... Like it slides. And it slides on, but it slides on the cloth too. Like pretty good, honestly. And I mean, it's, you know, it's not super scientific. I'm just pushing this thing along, but. I think you're a scientist. Hi, Riley. That's science. That's science, right? I just, I move the thing and then I'm like, yeah, I think that's faster. That's, that's how science works. Yeah, I think you're doing a randomized control trial right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like how this sounds? Not at all. You don't, oh. you don't like that? I can hear it from over here. This is a problem. What about this? What's that? That's nice. That's oh, nice. Yeah. That being said, if noise isn't a factor, you know, this might be for you. And oh. if you've got the really cool Teflon feet that they sell, maybe it's actually not even this loud at all. Maybe there's a bunch of dust on here. Like, I don't think so, because I just wiped it all off and it still sounds about the same. Yeah, it's like two bananas. Hey. Almost like 1.8 bananas or so, so it's pretty long. It comes in a bunch of different colors. They sent us a few boxes, but I don't know how many colors they actually sent us. I'm a color guy. I'm not into like minimalism and black and white aesthetics for everything. Oh, they're labeled. Okay, so this is white. We've already seen the white one. This is red. I'm not really into red, but oh, you know what? That's a really nice red though. Yeah, it's a little orangey. Oh, the green looks good. They're all really just primary. This is kind of a dark green. Not super dark, but yeah, it's so like they're beautiful. I do really appreciate the colorful aesthetic on the colored ones. My whole problem is I don't know if I want to spend $100 on this, because if I do, like if I'm looking to spend that much money, do I go for something really artisanal and I get like a 100 plus dollar like Japanese cloth gaming pad. I don't use those personally because I it's too much money, but I have friends who play esports professionally or used to at least, and they kind of swear by those. So I don't even know if they would like these. So it's a hundred bucks for the large one and then the small one is a little cheaper probably. Um, and then they've got their 3.0. These are all 2.0. They've got their 3.0 up for pre-order right now as well. Cool. So we know that it doesn't feel super great and we know that it doesn't sound super great, but does it game super great? We'll find out after a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. Their Performance Package 4.0 kit is designed to contain everything you need to make grooming below the waist easy. It includes the updated Lawnmower 4.0 with its wireless charging, Weed Whacker nose trimmer for the tricky areas, plus some other goodies like the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver sprays for deodorizing and toning. Get 20% off plus free international shipping using the link in the description below. I would love to get some actual data for you and run it through the tracking machine system that we used for the desk pads, but John is not gonna give me any time to do that. So bug Linus and maybe we'll do it in the future. Yeah, do you need to spend a hundred dollars on a on a on a mouse pad? Well, I kind of did, but it's a big mouse pad. I have the gamers nexus. <laughs> well, that one's like fifty. Even then, yeah, that one's like fifty with shipping. Just to make this kind of fair, at least we're gonna have me warm up on the LTT desk pad. I'm gonna do a test on the glass sky pad, and then I'm gonna go back and do a third final test on the LTT desk pad, and we'll see what I like the most. Um, I haven't done an aim lab and Counter-Strike in like forever. I don't even know how this one works. To be fair, this is a mouse that I never use. Probably great for Shroud, not great for me. Excuses. Yeah, it's pretty much excuses, 100%. Took me like five shots to hit. Hey, that guy hit twice, that's not bad. I'm getting there, that's why this is the warm up. Because I haven't played Counter-Strike in forever. Cool, counter terrorist win. I got like three headshots. Okay. Let's see how precise it is. And like I said, we can't, you know, you know, it feels like it looks good. Like, like it feels like it's pretty bang on, but I don't feel like the LTT desk pad wasn't bang on. You know what I mean? And it feels, it does feel a little lighter. Like it actually does feel a little easier to slide. Sorry, I was kind of busy toying with the keyboard instead of trying to shoot these guys in the head. Totally hit that guy in the face. Um, now that I'm not doing big circles, like it's pretty quiet. Like when I'm just doing these small movements, you guys hear it? 
Like you heard it before? I don't think so. Yeah, you're hearing the, the laptop fan doesn't help. Don't get me wrong. But like, yeah, that's still quieter. It's not bad though. Like I could deal with this. Yeah, it's not enough to really take you out of the game. And especially because you're probably gonna be wearing headphones or have like speakers blasting game audio. Hey, that was good. I don't remember the patterns anymore. I used to have the M4A1 pattern kind of memorized. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's not that I dislike the glass. I think it's perfectly fine. It's just that I kind of like the desk pad a little better. It's a little quieter. It feels just about as smooth. And I do feel like we're doing it a bit of an injustice by not giving the um, feet a replacement, but that's it's consistent. it's consistent. Yeah, I had, um, I don't know if it was the Razer one, but it was basically a copycat of the Razer that was just like a metal and plastic mouse pad. And it was okay, like it was perfectly fine. But I had the same problems that I'm getting with this and that whenever you do bigger sweeping motions, it's like, frankly, it's just kind of loud. And if you're gaming and you're trying to be quiet, you know, you're off in the corner of a living room or something and your family or whoever is watching TV next to you, like they're gonna be, you know, they're already kind of mad about all the clicking and stuff going on. They don't want to hear, hear this as well. That being said, like, it's okay. I, I think with their cool Teflon feet that they're offering for like eight bucks, like you might, if you're already spending a hundred dollars on this, you might as well go for the extra and get the $8 Teflon feet. That might fix things a little bit, but yeah, that's just gonna help with like how it sounds with moving and stuff. We can't tell if this is perfectly accurate when it comes to tracking. It feels about as accurate as ours, but this is pretty accurate. It's not as accurate as the, I think the Fnatic mouse pad is what we kind of based as our gold standard, but it's pretty close. As for this, like I said, we can't tell without a lot more testing, but just feeling like it felt pretty accurate to me, but my problem is twofold. One, I'm not crazy about the logo. It's not even a bad logo. I just, I tend to like just design. Like don't, I love how this is just blue. Give me a logo-less version that has like just more blue and I'll be even more happy. But my other really big problem is it comes down to the feel and the sound. It sounds like there's some kind of something scraping, even though we wiped down the, both the mouse feet and the desk pad multiple times. And it also kind of feels like it too. Whereas with, if there's stuff on a desk pad, you don't really feel it unless it's like a piece of fabric snagging on feet that are so worn away that you should probably replace them at that point anyway. Or Doritos. Or yeah, maybe you eat a lot of Doritos and it gets covered real quick. But you know, in that case, you should spend more money on Doritos and less money on professional gaming peripherals. Would I buy it? Probably not. If you're going for a very specific aesthetic, you like the logo, you like the way it feels, this is probably the one for you. I mean, I don't think you're going to get another hard surface gaming mouse pad that is this accurate, supposedly. But you can find a cloth one for much cheaper, right? Like LTT, 30 bucks, like not even LTT, go get somewhere, get somewhere else. You know, I'm not trying to be biased. Get any other desk pad for like 30 to $50 in a much larger size, you know, you can cover your whole desk. I don't hate this thing. I think it's okay. I just probably wouldn't go out and buy it myself. John has a check for me. Fnatic is selling their mouse pad for like $55. How big was that one? So that's the Dash mouse pad and that's 950 by 500. So like that's, that's way bigger than this thing and you're paying about half the price. I think, you know, unless you're looking for a hard surface, you can find something else. Skip it. Yeah. I hate saying skip it because I feel like someone always wants something. It's hard for, you know, I like finding the silver lining and stuff and it's it's a little difficult for me to find the silver lining in this one, I think. It's easy to clean. Yeah, it's easy to clean. He's got, he's got that right. It's easy to clean, you know, if you're in a spill proof uh, it, it, kind of desk environment you want to create, then get this. It's never going to wreck. Just, you know, maybe don't drop it on the floor and you're probably okay. If you like this SC, check out the one where Linus unboxed all of the LTT desk pads, and then you can kind of see the other sizes and like quality and material um, that we're offering here. And then you can make a more informed decision. We didn't cheap out. We actually did a lot of testing. Yeah, we didn't cheap out. We did a ton of testing. Thanks for watching.